Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome back to another match review. I hope everybody's nerves have settled a little bit after that game because that, that took so much out of me. So much out of me. Like, my emotions were going everywhere throughout the 90 minutes. Good individual performances. Good substitutions. Well, we'll talk about the substitutions. Um, the game management, uh, but thankfully, thankfully, what won us the game was, in my opinion, the red card. In the red card. But we're going to touch on everything in this game. Big up to everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. We beat Leicester 4-2 in what I'd like to call uh, one of the better first halves this season. Bar Sterling having one of the worst individual performances I've ever seen. Like, genuinely top 10 Worst individual Chelsea performance I've seen. It was a good first half from us. Nicholas Jackson does great on the wing. Sets up Cucurella for the first goal. Sterling does get the assist for Palmer. After like missing the pen. Blocking the Mudrick chance. Missing the 1v1. Running into individual players. But we're 2-0 up. We're, we're kind of cruising. We're in a comfortable position. Then. We give away an awful. Awful first goal. The sassy just decides to go shoot from 40 yards out. I don't know what kind of back pass he was thinking of, but he, he just he was just being really rash in that moment. And then we just seem to, like, settle. Like, we let Leicester get into the game. They start absolutely cooking us in transition, making chance after chance. We give the ball away cheaply in our own box, and they go the other end. Gusto gets done by Mavididi, and then another goal, 2-2. I'm thinking, oh crap, the blue billion pound bottle job's name is going to come round again. We're getting cooked. This is a typical second half for us. We're going to go lose and everything. We're, we're not making subs. This is the annoying thing. Like, I'm going to address, and before I say anything, because I know the pot chainers are going to be like, his subs won us the game. Shut up, Lewis. Look, he brought on the right people. Took way too long. He took way too long. Way too long. Now... What really helped us, and what will make the substitutions look a lot better, is that the red card. It's the red card. J Jackson, brilliant flick, um, manages to get some sort of panic out. The defender takes him out just outside the box, so it's not a yellow card. It's a red card instead of a penalty and a yellow, because they do the double jeopardy rule and everything. That's what really turned the game around. Because after that moment... Leicester City started sitting back. They started becoming more compact. They started focusing more on defending. And that's what helped us get back into the game a little bit more. Then we bring on the subs, which, again, way too late. Way too late. But we bring on the right people. We bring on the right people. So I give credit to Poch for that. But he takes way too long. Way too long. And the fact that Sterling wasn't off at half time well, was a big, big error by itself. I think he's the one who gave away the ball for the second goal as well. So, like, he should have been off immediately. But we bring on the right people. And at least that gets some impact. So, we'll give Poch credit for that, thankfully. Now, now please give Madueke and Chukumeka some more minutes. Because, yeesh. What do they have to do to get opportunities? What do they have to do? Ster like this guy said, he picks players based off merit. Yet Sterling starts every single game and he absolutely stinks. He And he don't get better. It's just, it's genuinely what we called it. He masks it with GNA. It's just, it's now getting to a point where I don't care about the GNA. You're not playing to a good enough standard. You're just not... I would rather give those minutes to a Madueke, to a Chakumeka, and it's up to the manager to do that after the international break. I don't want to see anything of, like, oh, we should give uh, we should give Sterling the opportunity to build himself back into confidence. No, no, you haven't been good enough. You haven't been good enough. Give Chakumeka those minutes. Give Madueke those minutes. Let Mudrik have some more game time. Because even in the second half, Mudrick cooking in the 10. We push him onto the left so Sterling can play 10. Why? Why? We are so lucky that we got that red card. We're so lucky. Because genuinely, that's what's won us the game. 
Thankfully, whoever that player was, I don't remember the guy's name for the life of me, but he lost his head. That one is the game. Big up to Madueki and Chaku Mecca. Big up to Cole Palmer. They were superb. Kaiseido, absolutely superb. Jackson, again, superb. Gusto and Sassi bar the goal. Good performances from them. Um, Sanchez, look, I, I know we're doing this whole second keeper plays the cup games and everything. Dead that. Dead that. I, I don't want to see it again. Don't want to see it again. He cannot start the semi-final. That guy was so shaky. So shaky. Even claiming crosses, which is meant to be one of his strengths. And he's diving for it like it's a shot. Wh what? Even the, he's even taking long on the ball again. Nearly got caught by Dakar in the first 20. No. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. But in, in spite of all of those separate moments that gave me a heart attack, we won the game. Thank, thank, thank goodness. Now, let's just avoid Liverpool at all costs if United don't beat them. We'll see what happens. And yeah, oh, we're going to Wembley again. Okay, let's, let's try and win there. That would be nice. That would be nice. Big up to everybody. Like, subscribe as always. Potch out. Still. Up the Chelsea.